Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad, and you've been waiting for summer here in the Midwest. It's on its way. Now, those of you down in Texas and down into the Southern Plains, it's been very hot. Now, that very hot weather is going to be expanding north and eastward over the next couple of days. In fact, we could be looking at triple digit heat in portions of the Midwest. Now, for your Saturday, you can see here most of the country well above normal. Temperatures certainly very hot in this part, in the uh, lower Mississippi. Mississippi Valley um, stretching into the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley. Now we're going to be seeing temperatures here in the Ohio Valley. Normal highs are in the lower to middle 80s. We're going to be pretty close to 90 degrees here in the Ohio Valley as we head on into your Saturday. Now watch what happens here on Sunday. This area really expands towards the north and northeast. Temperatures certainly well into the 90s. In fact, I'm going to be in Columbus, Ohio, taking a look at the Thunderbirds. Jake, we can't wait to see you there, but it's going to be very, very hot. Just, we're talking oppressive heat now, expanding northward across most of the area. Now I'm going to jump right on into your next Wednesday, and you can see again, very hot temperatures across any place in the southwest, stretching right across the northeast and certainly down towards the southeast. We will be looking at temperatures certainly in the 90s, potentially in the triple digits. Now I say potentially because there are these two models that we normally use, the GFS model and the European model. This is right now the European model showing all this heat. Now I'm going to show you the GFS model as far as the precipitation is concerned. But now we're stretching our way on into next Saturday and you can see this big dome of heat. We're looking at a major heat wave across most of the country. Now, as far as the precipitation is concerned, I'm going to show you the GFS model because that is different than the European model. The European model, as you saw, show all that heat expanding. Well, the GFS is bringing in some precipitation. Now, this is on Saturday. It's going to be very dry across this part of the country. Some showers up in Minnesota and Iowa and still a little bit wet down in the state of Florida. By Sunday, a couple spotty showers. So it's going to be very hot across this area. A little bit of a disturbance down in the Gulf of Mexico and dry all the way towards California. Now, let's jump to Wednesday. Notice what happens here. This is again the GFS model showing precipitation across the central US. If this happens, we will still have very hot temperatures, but that's going to keep temperatures in the 90s. But if it doesn't happen, we can easily see temperatures in the 100 degree range. Heat indices will certainly be pretty close to the triple digit number. Now, what makes this important is that fact that when we get a heat wave, especially here in the Midwest and stretching down towards Texas, the ground is usually very, very dry. But if we get this precipitation forming, we'll have some clouds. It's still going to be hot, but it won't be quite as hot if, in fact, this does occur. Now, I'm going to jump right to Saturday, and this is the GFS model once again. Once again, the European model temperature showing a tremendous amount of heat and dryness, but the GFS model is showing some precipitation around. Again, you can kind of see it here also in the Midwest, but I really want to drive your attention down towards the Gulf of Mexico. The GFS is developing a storm down into the Gulf. The uh, European model does also, but it's pushing a little bit more towards the West. We have to keep an eye on it for next weekend. Uh, the, the water is very, very warm. Conditions are favorable. But I think if something develops, it's going to move more in that direction. So we kind of have to keep an eye again on that direction. So now we're battling two different models. Which one do I normally like? I usually favor more of the GFS. I've been watching it over 40 years of my meteorology career. And I find that that model sometimes has a better handle on some heat waves. But we'll have to keep an eye on it for you. I will be back with another update. But the one thing we do know, there's a lot of heat on the way for the Midwest, and that will happen for next week. So start preparing for that and start dialing back some of your activities that you may have planned for next week. Until then, I'm George, the Weather Dad.